Go buy one from Toso. Unless you want a van that runs on kilos. Anybody see an extra spark plug? I got an iridium one somewhere. You want copper? Yeah, whatever you got. I think it matters. No fucking around. Both the dealership and the scrap guy got in. You know what that means? That means we're next. What's that? What the hell? He's here! Get him! Oh, Take you there! On the move! Get up! We gotta get him! Move! Quick! I'm going in! It tanks down. Must be something worth protecting back there. I think we hit the mother load. That's nine point nine million dollars worth of coke. Uh, what are you, drug rain man? Come on, let's leave it for the cops. I'm not letting cops take this. Then what are you gonna do with it? We're in Los Angeles. I can unload this in six days. What am I talking about? I know a pro basketball player. Four days. Tyson, I'm not kidding. Let's go. I'm getting this out of here. You can help me if you like. That forklift goes like zero miles an hour. You'll get to Hollywood by next week. Come on! Hey, nice. I'm not blind. Oh, then what are you doing? This goddamn thing, I'm almost free. Well, maybe you get the hell out of it! I said, goddammit, get behind and push! Come on! Oh, fuck it!
not a word. So you're gonna update us or oh, what? You really want me to explain to you the super technical stuff I'm doing right now? Uh, no. Well, here's something. What is it? Party invite sent to Kang. Interesting address he lists, too. Half these guys I work for. Says the party's on Mount Olympus. That's some kind of code? Actually, that's a real neighborhood, believe it or not. And the party's tonight. Kai and I'll check it out. You up for that? I'm not much of a party girl, but... All right. Sexy. Soon. Where'd you get that thing anyway? Boomer. He's worked for more than a couple of bank robbers. Let's find a way inside. Something other than the front door. If we break in, it's gotta be subtle. Relatively subtle. So who owns the house? Neil Rourke. Noted skis bag. It's drugs, guns. Someone who'd be interested in Dawes' private police force. That's my guess. He's got serious security, which is why. I brought that. Don't worry about any alarm. The power's out. Those are just the emergency lights. Power's still out. Trust me, Boomer knows his stuff. We're in. Now let's figure out where we plant the bug. Boomer said a lot of shitbags were coming to the meeting. Let's look for a conference room or something. This way. Is it me or does this place seem a little too quiet? As long as I'm not being shot at, no complaints. Someone's changed the ID stickers on that van a few times. So if this were your house, where would you discuss a criminal conspiracy? Not down here. Let's head upstairs. What kind of an asshole lives in a place like this? A rich asshole. A rich Hollywood asshole. Up here. Fuck this house, and fuck this view. Take it, this is your first burglary? Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa, hear that? Meeting's up for two hours, right? That's what Kang's email said. Let's just plant this bug and get out of here.
Looks like a conference room to me. This has got to be where they're meeting. This will work. Okay, Bugs Planet. Let's go. Uh oh. Shit. Come on. Hey, lights are back on. Have to turn on the generator. I thought this thing started at midnight. Schedule change. Right this way, gentlemen. Make yourselves comfortable. I thought Kang was supposed to be here. Kang's not coming. Oh, his wife's sick. <laughs> sick? She's 25 years old. Then what does she have, a runny nose? Kang's out of the picture, officially. Which is why we're meeting now rather than later. I thought you were supposed to be his protection. We offer several tiers of security. Who killed him? You. Man, I'm out of here. Gentlemen, sit down. Shut up. Allow the man to talk. You know, guys, this doesn't have to be this difficult. In Miami, we brokered truces between assholes like you. Any arguments, we settled like this, talking. Now, we don't want your turf or your product. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. It worked in Miami, so I'd like nothing better than to see our own. Local luminaries start thinking like actual businessmen. Well done. And now, gentlemen, a limo crammed with some of Hollywood's finest part-time cosmetology students is en route. Please, make your way to the Boom Boom Room. And enjoy. You, uh, want to talk about it? The guy that whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. We'll be back later tonight, though. Well, your money will be stored in my Sanctum Santorum. Uh, rest assured. That son of a bitch is here? Kai. If we sneak out this window, we can still catch him. Forget Stoddard. I've got an idea. What? Give me your phone. Okay. Why? Anything important on here? Just that candy game. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. So you want to steal Dawes' dirty money before it gets laundered? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Wait, what? I need to have a word with Sergeant Stoddard before he gets away, and we can't both be sneaking through this house. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Give me a boost. I can't believe I actually trusted you. This is personal. Personal? You helped Dawson Stoddard put me away for three years. That's not personal? Sorry to disappoint. My mother died when I was in prison, Kai. Jesus, Nick. You know what? Save it. I don't give a shit what you do. Plenty of blow. It's not my fucking problem, is it? Fuck you too. Bye. What'd you shoot last week? <coughs> like uh, an 85. Without cheating? Like a 95. So, how seriously are we taking this Stoddard deal? Rourke's taking it pretty seriously. Well, I don't like it. Crooked cops got no honor. He said the guy who cheated.
does this guy in the helmet ever talk? Oh, wow, the line got... <clears throat> huh. Do you see that? Fuck! I'm gonna have a look around. Freeze! You got it! You... So, when did the whores arrive? Yeah, I mean, it's a Sex workers, please. Sorry. When did the whores arrive? <laughs> An hour. Nothing. <clears throat> I rap about pussy because my niggas love it. Show your click, let me see you rub it. Back it up, easy dub it. Sit and see you in the club, I can just rub it. All I need is no love and you be done, nigga. Do you, do you really think you want some that? Drop a mixtape. I see a couple, go to London and they tell you that you're from it. Drop a mixtape, drop a mixtape, drop a mixtape, drop a mixtape. Yo, yo, my man, you wanna check us out? It's a 3.8 liter twin turbo charge. The fuck was that? Ooh, what's up? Huh? What the fuck? Okay, what is this? Yeah, boy, you call on God. Most these haters talk silly, really wear a bro. Forget you and your whole squad. If you're gonna blast, never pause. Give me drums and make them hard. Yeah, we on top. I know we run the city, but started with a block. I used to have a lady, now I have a lot. Our life is put on the gas. Y'all know I can't stop. Uh huh. It's slowly up here at the top. We should be admired. We are everything that you're not. You sleep, we don't. You quit, we won't. We have nothing in common. We're rich, you broke. You ain't never been this hot. Your flow's regular. Brunch in Milan, our life is spectacular. Spit the good that, that. Where'd that come from?
back by the court.
Obviously, you have no idea who I am, because if you did, you would not be stealing from me. Maybe I don't scare that easy. <laughs> well, you look Mexican, so I'll assume you're a burglar. But I'm also assuming you're not the average burglar. There are a lot of vulnerable properties in this neighborhood, but you picked mine to rob. Why is that? I wonder. Hey, seemed like a challenge. <laughs> Well, let's up the challenge. I just pushed a button, which means about a dozen coked up psychopaths with automatic weapons are heading your way. You scared yet? Doesn't seem like it. Not from where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, no, this is very clever of you. A two man job, huh? So to speak. Well, hats off to you. Really? You twits better take all the cash you can carry and spend it fast. Buy gold. Buy a goddamn sailboat because I'm not gonna stop coming for you. Ever. Oh, shut up! Hey there. Just thought I'd check in. Hey, turn off the alarm. Uh, that's not gonna work. You got bad guys coming at you. Oh, shit. Get this guy! Oh, shit, get back! Shit. Fill out a bunch of paperwork later. <laughs> get started? Then try. I figured you'd probably use a hand back here. Uh, thanks, by the way. We should go. What the hell did Dawes and Stoddard do to you? Just say, I wasn't always the kind of person who would fuck over her partner. Fair enough. And just so you know, this isn't about killing Doss. Not for me. Okay. What's it about then? For you. I want him ruined. Because that's what he does. He ruins people. And Stoddard? Stoddard, I'm fine with just killing. <laughs> Pretty sure you're gonna get another shot at him. After tonight, Stoddard's gonna be coming after us.
<laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused $3 million worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! Thank what you. is that? Where Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' is corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army. You know, made a local friend. So I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Soon! Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd be like SBF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> oh, you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no. We have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were going to, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Go to the right here, Nick. What have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your dad? He's still carrying that fucking gun. Marcus! The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. Alright, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we could. Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic, but which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. Great. Yeah. Uh. Wait, is your friend trying to kill us or what? So your dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Is your friend trying to kill us or what? Dirt road straight ahead. 
ahead, that's ours. Well, well, Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick? Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah. A lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Go to the right here, Nick. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you, like, enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your daddy? She's still carrying that fucking book. Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we can... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. Kidnap me, my dad said, which was so fucking romantic, but which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh, GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Dirt road straight ahead, that's ours.
Well, well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert. Thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick? Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. Look, Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Damn it. 